is um, my NTA project that I have long abandoned. Um, um, oh, wait, sorry. My apologies, the 7 p.m. arrangement still stands. Um, I thought it was 5 p.m. You can still join and hang out till 7. Yeah, let's just see how that works out for us. Okay, so Figma, behold, my current problem now is like I've designed this thing to a certain degree, but I came back and I started doing some kind of work when I, when I had like another look at it and I discovered that some of the things I may have added to anything. So I started taking out some, some features. I like we're working the architecture and layout and it, it, it feels a little cleaner now though. This was what I'd had for the wire. Well, it's what I use for my block frame wireframe scenario. Is she okay? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the uh, article view. So article view is kind of like different. I created like uh, about let me see like how many scenarios? Five scenarios for different articles. So this is for like a main feature type of article, right? Um. Yeah, I'm okay, thank you so much. Uh, this is like a regular, regular article. This is a regular article as well. No images, just text. This is a video article, video only article. This is a live streaming post type of thing. And uh, this is the this is the experience for uh, what's it called? This is the experience for this is the reading experience. So you know how like sometimes when you don't you don't want to read your news, but you just want the news to be read to you, right? So if by the time you tap this button on, on at the top here, this is exactly what happens. So the article gets picked up. It's your it reads your I mean the app reads your article for you as well. Um I think that's all I have for mobile. For web, web is still in progress. I'm still going to do TV, and TV is a whole different game, Sha. But web is still in progress. I had started some, I had started something for web initially, but I had to stop because I had to stop because the design for web was not making sense at all. And uh, who is this again? So I had to stop because the design for web wasn't making sense at all. The, I think the problem I had was this top. This top just was not sitting real well with me because I didn't know what to do with it. And it was it was a lot of work. I was trying to replicate this, but you know when you try to replicate something and then it's not just working. So it kind of induced some kind of paralysis for me. So when I just like today, I just came and like gave it another go. So you notice, hold on, let me remove some of this. Remember this grid here as well. So you'll notice that um, I've basically moved the, I've merged the logo and the navigation. The navigation is a lot clearer now. So that gives a lot more space for whatever image is going to be here. Now with this image, I can, I can now do a lot more, right? I can, um, let's see, okay, this is coming from the top. So it doesn't need to come from the top anymore. You know, it doesn't need to come from the top anymore. I can just lock it into the middle. And the reason I can do this now is such open. No? I do this now because this can happen and can happen properly. Maybe not totally lose this one though, but I'll reduce it. It's like a good turn so that the contrast is a lot better. I'm still going to add like things like live TV and search somewhere around here. I just haven't figured out how I'm going to work that, but I think I like what I'm looking at so far. 
the top feels a lot more organized. Um, the middle, even better, because now, now this feature that I was trying to implement over here, happening now, which is essentially breaking news, now feels a lot cleaner now, right? It now feels a lot cleaner. Now, it's not just enough for me to have like a functional web, you know, websites for the new side of things. There has to be some kind of consistency between these two experiences. You notice I did like a dark mode and light mode type of thing. Unfortunately, I don't think I have the luxury of doing that, that sort of thing on web. I don't know who reads their news on the web in dark mode. Have you ever seen anything like that? No, no, not yet. Not yet, see? Um, oh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, so, uh, now remember what I said, it's not supposed to be the same, but it's supposed to be consistent, right? <laughs> so, let me ship this a bit. Yeah. Boy, this kind of feels big. Drop it to like uh, 24, 24. Oh, no. hold on. I need to go early. Yeah, good. 24, 24. Okay, so I think this is fine. So maybe I could, what I could do is just highlight this part. And what I mean by highlight is. So, hold on, sorry. So what I mean by highlights, like I want it to be uniquely different. I'm liking what I'm seeing here though. Let me see. It's a little darker. I like that it's dark. Well, here's now my challenge. I don't know where to put my search. <laughs> I don't know where to put my search. this okay. Let me do this and then maybe the TV can now be here I'll just leave the TV here all right so that's my search button bring this here and then you slap the search. Okay, so let's see, this is good. All right, good. It kind of feels big though. Yeah, I was right, it kind of feels, feels, feels big. So let's reduce this a little bit more. 2020 feels fine. Now we have to consider the experience for what will happen when the user taps on. When the user taps on this, what do you think should happen? Hmm? On this search? Yeah, when you tap on the search, what do you think should happen? Um, probably, maybe pop up screen with uh, a bit of. We like to say dark color overlay. Mm, but isn't that a little too much? Yes. No, it, no, it's not. No, remember, no, no, I'm saying, I'm saying it's a little too much, yeah, but that's just an opinion because some sites actually do that. You tap on it, it whole pop up, covers the entire screen. Medium used to do it once upon a time. Um, ah, good. I think um, UI8 does their search like that as well. Let me check. UI eight. So okay, well, that's when we tap on search. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. It loads, it loads a different. It loads a pop up, literally, but it takes the whole screen. And at the top, 
the thing you're gonna search for. Let's just say, say, say Figma and then you search and then all the all the results just you know. Mm, all the results populate on that. Uh I can't quite think of any other um I can't quite think of, of, of any other one that actually does it like that. Some really, really complex um search work. I think something like Shutterstock. Yeah, that's true. No, Shutterstock search is actually quite basic good and because it's up in your face, right? Let's see yeah, over the it's very up in your face and then look at the search bars at the top and that's it so there's really nothing Ooh, these are nice they're really nice i'll keep this okay um so let me let me let me try and see if i can design a couple of ideas just to show you how interactions actually work or how to think of interactions when when you're working. So when you click on search, right, you can do a couple of things. Say the laziest cop out solution would be something like this, right? Just put like a bar here, and uh, I say this is a cop out because it's uh, <laughs> it's just it's just a bare easy solution. So you can just have maybe like a line here. Uh, the reason why I'm not really pro this idea is because um, the assets that we've designed we don't have a text field that behaves like this. We don't have a text field that behaves like this, but let's try something. So you can have some, I'm just okay, let me rip this text. No, let me rip this text from here. Put it right here. That's right. Enter search. Enter search here. Now, someone who is a better copywriter, someone who is a better search, um, I mean, a copywriter would, would write something better than whatever this nonsense I'm doing here. Right? But Please don't bring this whole thing up again. It is what it is. Now, this is a simple, this, this is, like I said, our cop out solution, right? Tap it, wow, this one comes out. You enter your search, press enter, and it takes you to where, we, where you're going, right? Yes, yes. Good. All right. Now, let's try another approach. Now, the example you gave, right, is essentially this. So I'm just going to duplicate this. Okay. Um, someone is dropping comments. Talon drop comment. Yeah. Pinterest. Hey, let me check. Pinterest is. Let's see. Pinterest. 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 Oh, yeah, get it. All right, sure. Get it. Get it there. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. So, you know, like once upon a time, yeah, I was actually thinking. Okay, no more upon in time. Recently, I was actually thinking of having like some kind of poster challenge within the group. But it might not be now, shall I? It might just be like a seven day poster challenge. Most today, today is 30th, 31st. So maybe sometime in November. Maybe we'll just pick last week of November, second or last week of November, and just have like a seven day poster, poster challenge. And I'll just drop the prompts and you just design according to those prompts. That's all. But let's see how that goes. Um, search, uh, okay, so Pinterest. Pinterest search is actually different. It's not full screen. But it's not bad. It's not bad. And the reason why I think it's not bad is primarily because, sorry, hold on. Uh, hmm. Sorry, I'm just seeing just some really interesting stuff. This is nice. 
Okay. Pinterest search is effective because the search bar already exists. Like you could you could already see it. Unfortunately, we don't have the same thing here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try this off for a minute. Um. Hmm. This is too much. And I also want to blur deep in. I want to blur on the. So yes, I like some nice light background blur. Let me reduce this a little more. So the blow is a little more, you know. Yeah, this is fine. Like a triangle here. The other like skills are the ones that I need to find out what they are about. What the other ones that I can show you? Uh. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what that looks like. Uh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is all work. There has to be a better way to actually do this thing. The reason why I'm actually pressed about this is because because my first inst my first instinct is actually to do this. All right, I'll just stretch this. Let me, let me, okay, now, hold on, let me see. Oh. Let me carry all of these up. And then I'll just stretch this forward a little bit. I remember what kind of question is that so it kind of like it animates outward and then whatever it is that you're looking for just set it right around here then remove this i don't even need this one i'll just see the press Okay, let's see how that works out for us. Huh. Okay, I like this. I like this. Yeah, like mm. this is clean, yeah. But so here's what I want to do. The problem with this approach is that it hides some of the menu. Right, and then basically leaves. So I want, I want, I want a scenario whereby it just hides all the menu. Give me one minute. Let me. I want a scenario where it hides all the menu. Research track strictly research. Hmm. That's not bad. Could even work. I think that I think my my worry now is that there ain't okay no, maybe I'm looking at it wrong because I'm very sure that there are some people that want to do you know user research like make it a full time thing. Yes, that's true. Yeah, like just research, no design work, just research, getting to know your customers, looking for you know connecting connecting patterns, 
validating business ideas, things of that nature. But the thing now is that the entire market is in, is 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 inundated by okay, geez, why am I using words that I'm not even sure of the meaning? The entire market is, is filled up with people <laughs> that filled up with people that just want to push pixels and you know and and, and post exactly. like oh, you get so I'll test it. I'll see what I'll see what it can I'll see how it can work next year. I'll see how it can work next year. So this this is not a bad idea. You can even have we go if you're gonna do something like this, yeah. It makes sense for you to have a clear button. What I mean by clear, either a clear or a close button. So I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to stick it at the end here. There's already. Let me check if I have close as part of my components. So I created a high to thank God. So what is it? What is it called? Exit. Good. So I created like a pattern library. So it's easier for me to just like swap icons and swap components whenever I want. So that I don't, so that my designs are consistent. There you go. So I'll just change the color from this to white. And wow, this is not the worst thing to happen, to be honest. It's not bad. This is actually not bad. So when you click on search, so let's let's say we wanted to animate this now. Let's 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 create a small micro interaction. Obviously, we're not we're not going with this idea anymore. So let's just remove it, right? So we have this. Let's make sure that our our um okay. Two and three. All right. Good. 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 I can't. I can't. Rectangle. Rectangle. All right. So that's fine. So if I click on prototype and I just tap on this guy, for example, I just the uh, what the hell? Yeah, good. And I do that. Smart animates. He's in his out. And then if I click on this close and I send it back. Not admit. All right. So let's see. Ooh. Okay. That did not come out right. Huh? What just happened? Something is off. Okay. Let's remove this ellipse because it's no longer necessary. So that's fine and fine. Icon to icon. Okay. Ah, uh, so that's that's where the issue was. Okay, it's one minute to run. I love this. Good. So this this. Line seventeen. Yeah. Line seventeen remains, but this guy right here. Um, I see. Let me copy this and paste this here. Oh boy, that's not good. So I'll put this here. Well, I'll make it invisible. Also, remove the interaction that is tied to it. Um, keep it on that a little bit. So let's try again. Now, uh, why is it? 
Ah, I think I know why. The Leah names. It's not all the time. I know she's that way. Yes. Layer names are off. Okay, so let me rename this. Instead of icon, I'll just call you search. Same thing with you. We'll call this search as well. So we'll close this. Uh, why is it juggling? Don't understand. Ah, it seems that. Huh. No wonder. I was moving. The entire movement was just wrong. All right, so let's keep that there. Um, same thing with you. Keep this here, and then uh, I'm going. I'm going by myself. This is also going to be fine. All right, so so you click it, comes out, pops open, close. Entire search. Yeah, it's behaving properly now. So that's how you just create like very simple basic micro interactions in Figma. I think it's come out nice, actually. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I agree. Anyways, let's continue fleshing out this. Let me move this one because. Oh no 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 no. I I did it all for you. this. I I agree with something. I I want to know what that happened to you. Okay, so I need arrows. Please go. Let let it be that I actually have arrows. <laughs> okay, I think I. I will manage this. I'll manage this. All right, so let's have one here. Sweep back to design. Turn this here. I'll make this white. I'll just reduce the opacity of this one. Like this. Okay, so let's see what do we have. Oh no. Oh. I think these things are too thick. That's why. But the, hmm. Let me reduce the opacity of this one just to see what, what happens. Yeah. This is fine, I think. Something fine. And Let's see. Okay, I can live with this, I guess. So the general idea behind this interaction is when I click on this, it just moves, right? We can prototype that too. So let me just duplicate this screen. I'm working with the assumption that you guys are familiar, uh, aren't that familiar with prototyping. Like you guys can prototype, right? Uh, yes, I'm not really confident, but I can move around the station. Okay. Who else? Like, who else is actually comfortable with prototyping here? Everybody just be quiet now, and that's fine. Uh, Timmy Topway? Anyway. 
and Nelson. Okay, so let's. Um, I'm not so good though. Like I don't really use Figma like that, sure. Why? Why don't you? Why don't you use Figma like that? You just uh, once, once, sure. Yeah. You go here once, once. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's let's create like a very simple prototype. As in the interaction is not the too it's not too complex like that. Yeah. It's not too complex. It's not instant, so we'll make it easy and easy out. Okay. I don't know. Alright, so it's hard to be different. You know, it's a struggle, especially when you're a kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So this one is not hard, hard now. This one is very straightforward. You tap it, you moves, tap it back, it moves back. The straightforward thing. You know, and you could you can do a shade you and make some extra stuff with the animation. You know that bezel, that's a small up loop here. So and if we do, well, that feels like too much. You know, that's an exaggeration, feels like too much. So I think we, we are safe by just keeping it regular. Okay, so. Let us uh, suspect this thing still works. Yeah, it does. Good. All right. So let us let us uh, figure out the rest of this design. All right. That's pretty much what we are here for. Now, how this is done is that okay let's even check regular nta's website let's look at um, nta's website oh okay this happened uh, hey my name is winning rashford hmm Skamaka. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. I was going somewhere before with this. Where was I going? Uh, we're going to check NTA's website. Yes, NTA website. NTA. That's NG, I believe. That should be it. <laughs> Okay, so. Oh God, I've never seen a more disturbing website. Like, how do you compare this with something like this? I, th I think they use weeks to build their website. <laughs> Can you believe what my wife just said? Well, you know, I mean, no, the, the, no, I don't think, I don't think it was even weeks. I think this thing was the, 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 the couldn't have been WordPress. That one I'm very sure of. It couldn't have been WordPress. Let me check. I think I have one of them. No, I don't. It's not on this one. I think it's on my brief. Let's check the source. To always reveal the truth. Um, yep, WordPress. <laughs> NTA was done in WordPress. No wonder it's difficult to manage. But no, okay, not that it's not that WordPress is actually bad because I know I know that there was a time that CNN was done in what was being run on WordPress, but it was like a super, super heavily customized version of, of WordPress. Like they hacked the living, you could not tell. 
you couldn't tell that my god you couldn't tell that this was a wordpress platform so it was they just hacked it hacked it and it was so wild it was wild anyway let's get back to let's get back to this so now you notice that in their layout they use grids they don't just put stuff arbitrarily right although to be fair the grids kind of feel disjointed and inconsistent because i mean look at you have big image here small image smaller image um this feels like a lot to consume at once i think bbc's own I think BBC Zone is a lot more coherent, right? Yes, BBC Zone is more mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. nicer. It's nicer. It's you know, it's, it's very aligned. Yeah. Colomadi, I seriously, why are people doing this nonsense? Why do people do? <laughs> Well, I get that they want to save the planet and all. And <laughs> no, it's a truth. Like, what they just do is they'll go to like a museum or to like a public area and then they will just put gum on their hand and they will just slap them and literally glue themselves to 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 the wall to the wall as an act of protest. And I'm like, ah, why? Yeah. That was how someone went ahead and tied himself. At the, did he glue himself to a goalpost or he tied it? He, 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 he tied his neck to a goalpost and they had to unclip him. <laughs> Look, I mean, like, yes, I agree. Um, yes, you have to. They're probably just seeking attention. No, no, it's not necessarily seeking attention for themselves. They are, they are doing it for a greater cause. They are trying to draw people's attention to the fact that, look, oil, you know, Oil is 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 is, um, is you know refining oil, digging up crude oil of it, you know, and then the byproducts of crude oil they are all affecting you know climate change and and all of that. My problem is this is just this just feels lazy. Yeah, and the better is to be about it. That's number one. Number two, it's also very unrealistic. If people, if you want people to just stop oil, do you know the amount of like economies that would literally just tank immediately in order for us to transition from crude oil to to so, so, to to clean sustainable energy that will power the entire planet? It's two generations work. It's not something that everyone will stop and then just. It's two yes. it's it's two generations of work, and I don't know why people are just angry for for no one. Anyhow, that's that's their <laughs> that's that's their this thing. But let's get back on track. New study says that cats know where you are talking to them. Of course they know. They just simply ignore you. God. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see how everything is you, you can see how everything is essentially just arranged. Yes, you know yes. it is. It's a very clear, coherent grid. Nothing is out of uh, nothing is out of shape. Here on CNN, like he just choked everything, and it's very, very disorganized. It's very, very disorganized, and after a while, it's it's painful to look at. Right. So there is some level of organization. So let's check another one. CBS also employs an interesting grid grid structure. Right. And it's very nice. So you notice that in some areas they use four, in some areas they use three, in some areas, you know, and I think you just need to determine how, how, what goes where. So this is also a four, a four type of area. Let's look at, um, let's look at uh, the next web. The next web is, those ones they didn't really <laughs> so it's not like they just did like a very very simple approach 
and it's essentially an approach that works perfectly well for them. Uh, Forbes, 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 what happened to Forbes? Forbes essentially is, um, let's see, a three grid structure, I think, yeah, three grid, they, I think that they're basically just alternating between three grid and, and two grid. This is interesting though. Let's come back to Figma. So this is why I actually drew, drew out some of these things, some of these rectangles, because I was trying to figure out how the gridding structure is going to work. So we have, this is a two grid, right? We've already, which we've already established. If you wanted to establish a three grid, let's even count the number of uh, columns that this grid span over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So it's 24 columns, which is fine. So you divide 24 by three, what do you have? Eight, right? Eight. So if you count eight, let's see, this is four and this is eight. So let's, if we do this, so this is three columns. So now let's attempt to have, let's let's design a four, let's create a four column, four column. 24 by four is, ooh, is six, right? Mm. Yeah, this is correct. You have to do this. This is four columns. Okay, so let's turn this off a bit. Let's see. So we've seen how, how the greeting, we've basically seen how we can actually attempt our greeting. Next thing we want to do right now is basically just the layout of what, of what goes where. Um, there's some background interference from someone. Okay. All right, so I think we have like an hour to the main presentation. So just bear with me. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we do? What do we do? All right, so let's look at the existing NTA website and try and see if we can like create breakdowns out of, out of these places. So what comes to mind? We have politics, we have economics, we have security, we have domestic, we have foreign, and we have tech. Of course, tech is empty. <laughs> the one thing that actually gives the country <laughs> yes tech is empty in fact their last tech report was <laughs> their last tech report was in january of this year the year is almost over Sometime in June last year, APC started to list out the dangers of having a VPN because their president banned Twitter. God. Are we thinking? Hmm? Oh, no. No, 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 oh, Jesus Christ, I was just checking on you. I'm saying it. Let me just stop it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Boy, I'm not using it. See, I'm already using it. All right, I'm good.
All right. So let's see. What are we doing here? Hot news. Let's let's write some. Let's write some. Let's write some things down. Uh, we already have happening now. So we have politics. We have technology. Oh, technology. Technology. Have um, law. The tops of we have international. We have um, business. We have economics. So I'm trying to order them in time, you know, in in I to arrange them in order of preference, like how people typically would typically want to consume their news, especially here in Nigeria. Law is really not that important. I think these are the three most these are the four most important ones. And even law is still going to come beneath um international news. Um lifestyle and co cool. they're not really Lifestyle, sports, sports might probably get its own section, I guess. Uh, travel, uh, food. So these are just examples. Right. Okay, so. Uh, for something like politics now, politics will probably get like a three column type of arrangement. Because it's kind of critical. So let's see. Uh, have three. Hmm? No. Two. Economics can have three. Technology, three. Business can be two. National. Um, Four. Row four, left out four, sports three, travel four, and food four. Now, so doing this, doing this way basically gives you an idea of how you want your layout to be broken down, right? So let's get started. Oh no. Here. So politics is two, two columns, right? Arrange this like this. Wanted to break at this point. Here. Uh -huh. And I want the um so I'm just gonna copy these properties. I'll paste them here. Let's see. Mm, okay. A badge. No bad, no bad, no bad, no bad. <laughs> So let me just keep this on here so that I can see what I'm dealing with. Um, let me turn on my rules because that will, in some sense, inform what I'm what I'm working on. This up front here. Uh, right, let's see. Huh. Okay. I 
I can communicate with the dead. Stephen, I can speak to him. And okay. Okay. All right, so let's get some header work down. Create a new header somewhere up here. Uh, turn off this thing. He was also at the magician and Moses show earlier. He's in his 30s. He's just all in black. But I see him looking very loud in the chain. It's hard for me to catch my breath. So almost like he can't catch his. Do you know why he might still be here? Do you know why he's right now? All right, so let's see what's happening now. The ticks. I can't do this. I'm sorry. I'll make it bigger. Why doesn't she want to speak to you? Hmm. That's cool. Coming in nicely. Um, so how I want this to go down, I want an image here. So let me just duplicate this. Uh, turn on my turn that on so that I can have a better control. And the Yes. And this to 24. So this is that you want to Like every magician, I took my inspiration from Frank Lee. When my younger brother wanted nothing else but to follow in my footsteps. Yeah, that's very good. So it's fine. So you guys use a ruler to look here. She joined up with us outside Chicago, running from the family she was never talking about. All right. Everything in my power to make a mind and stop thinking about me. All right, so that is. Mr. Pink was the last for both of us. I know I had to keep her dogs back. She never understood what we were together with. Back to my act. Redesigning my act, making it more challenging, more extraordinary. That is my power. All right, so let's now create a good banner here. One day I saw them together, and I watched the way they looked at each other. The way he caressed her face. The way she walked into his arms and they held each other like lovers, and I felt when my heart was tearing in two. Okay. So. I knew the profound alarm that she has come first. That moment I find the back handles for opening my eyes. It took seeing them together to make me realize how much I loved her. Stupid I was, that's what she went to see. Okay. Then. So to mock me on the day I died, she read my cards and warned me of great danger. Of course, she knew I wouldn't listen. Why else would she go through the charade? Perfect plan. Mm. So, let's duplicate this. Just create a big, you know. And I ran my tongue across the key into my mouth. I've done the solution thousands of times. Okay. And I saw their faces through glass. Come look at me. Their eyes moved to the floor. I think they were the key when they go off and they're waiting for me to realize it. The illusion I couldn't escape. I could hear the bubble of light off pounding my ears. I had to think. Okay. <laughs> oh god. So oh, good. I'm calling you, Jerry. Um British Prime Minister. All right. Uh, let's see. 
My brother Ambrose said to me when I shot him, we got to have only a so the sizes are con this is obviously 36 right but this is 32 if i make this 28 i think that might work Okay, so all right, so let's just don't see one. All right, so I'm just going to copy this. Yeah. And then I will make some small adjustments. This is not guy, not fresh guy. Okay, so let me push this down a little lower. All right, this is fine then. We take care of our Do you know where to find the Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I say it's looking, it's coming together nicely. So let's get some text from here. On behalf of the... Screw that. Just have to that the only between you and Edward Oh good. All right. So I'll just I'll just I'll just copy this. This is just operating coherent. Um, I'll never be as good as I was. So stop all right so need some text need something this long. I'll say, I have to drop, I gotta get it. All right, um, check this here. His name is Eric and Ambrose. That's what he said. He's coming into the break, even greater than Edward. All right, so let's add some more copy. Not the Okay. Hmm. Okay, this looks fine. So let me let's get some small text. Um, That's interesting. I had this. Finally. I you were telling my husband's partner that you were pregnant. You were afraid to say he saved you. I can't believe that. Is it true? Who are you? What are you doing here? My name is Naomi Gordon. 
I was with Lily and what and when she had to go out the window, I know what happened. What? Lily. Can you let's do this right now, please? Can you go? I just mean your brother. I've spoken to him. His spirit is still here. He's with us right now. Oh, please. Let's just do this so that it aligns. Pretty too. No, I mean. I'm sure that's the truth. Yeah, as well. This to make it 16. Aligns. All right. So let us see. No, no, I'm Joe. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how that works out. Absolutely <laughs> sure. Is it too much? No, I agree. I think four should be okay. Uh, yes, let's try four. Mm -hmm. I think four might be okay. The problem with four. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Okay, then close it. The problem with four is that there'll be gapping, there'll be gaping hole. Oh man, this iPhone has gone off. The only way that everyone will get closed. No, uh. Sorry. Uh, it's a good thing. Three hours, I think. Okay, so, hmm. Okay, 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 okay. I could reduce this a little bit. Who is joining us? There we go. I could reduce this a little bit. I could drag these up top. And let's bring this on. Yes. You said you saw my brother. Yeah. He's here. Yes, right now. He has kind. There's something that you want to tell me. Hold on. Just find them. Hey. Please stop. Wait. Okay, so we have that. About what? Never stuck here. Okay, so you can help him if you'll just tell him what happened that night. There's no use in hiding it any longer. He knows about it. Okay, so you can help him if you'll just tell him what happened that night. There's no use in hiding it any longer. He knows about it. 
Okay, so let's try this. my whole life. I knew that I can't get a distance like it's magic, but okay, so we started out politics, all right? Economics, three columns. Let's drag out this one. So I think we'll just make this like a very convenient to lay out. 4 so let's bring these ones out let's bring these ones out so we're doing this so drag this out a little more and then look where it creates a connection to actually that's fine economics i can never love him the way i loved edward but what do you know that Edward's with you. Said Edward's spirit would follow you. How did he blame me? Predicting his death. The key. Out of the key gets switched. Okay, about how the key got switched. Okay. All right, so let's squeeze this. You know what was in Supposed to be gap of twenty four pixels around here. Child. I love you, Amber. 
Okay. I just make all your dreams come true. I get that to you. Just create some really nice something high enough. Are you really here? 200 <laughs> is fine. What if he needed you? He would make you feel like the most important person in the world and then he would just throw you away. Everyone's better off without you. <laughs> Wait, please. Amber, stop. Edward doesn't want you to know. Okay. Uh, so let's start putting together some very nice text. I saw it. I saw it in your eyes when I was crying. I wanted to die. All right, so let's reduce the size of this bad boy to a fair one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, hmm. Instead of all the relentless criticism, that's what I did. I just wanted to be half as good as you. I am so sorry. I'm so we we'll just come here. How did I not see that? And then. He doesn't understand. Why didn't you do that? You were always looking behind you or around you. You never saw what was right in front of you. I'm supposed to long like this. I know. He didn't know it was alive. I know there's nothing I can do. Let's see. He knows the name is Trudy Chico. It's not how much you like I still love you, Edward. I always will. Nobody doesn't deserve it. Sir, 15. What it is. I love you. Ambrose loves you. And his child. Your child will love you. Right. So let's put this here. Mom, 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 mom. How does my look like we get this? Put this here. That way. Domestic. I had to join Tama. Okay. Method. Copy image. Okay. So I'm thinking, yeah. Let me see what will happen if we just tied these two together. Obviously, not much. Push too tight. That's that forty-eight. Thirty-six. Okay. Hmm. Okay. 
So we just give like some space for um, buttons. Apparently, I have. I think I should have a button component somewhere here. Yeah, I do. Mm. I'll just switch from solid to like a text link, and then um, just have that to read more type of thing going on here. Let's see, let's have a little more. Two, there we go. Three more. 16, 18. Right, so let me break this from the components. And then just like slap an icon there. Right in the middle. This will be fine. Right. There we go. Too much, too big. Okay, I think we have something good. Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad. Okay, so we have done nailed for something like um, economics for technology. All right, so I'll change, I'll give this link a bit of change. So I'll change this to this thing. This is not looking good at all. all right, so I just I think I'll leave this as white. Oh. You're not leaving for streaming. They want this. DG. No, don't leave me, Sha. Okay, well, I guess I'll just continue designing then. Till seven.
So I don't know if it's just me, but I think your mic is off. Hello. Okay, so I started this class two hours too early. My entire session two hours too early, and I just decided to turn it into a uh, full on session. But I think this is as good a time as any for us to. You won't trust your own.
this has been this, this has been a time for us to actually get started. Um, hold on, let's wait a bit more for let's wait a bit more for more people to actually join, and we will commence. Hold on. Great. Uh, you have a minute? Great. Uh, you have a minute? I'm going to close the door. But that's one moment. How come we can see? I don't really know. But they usually go out at that time they're eight or nine, and they realize they're not supposed to be paying them. Your grandson's seven, I think. So why didn't you talk to him? I don't know what to say. Yes, you do. Go ahead and say, oh, no, are you going to leave me here alone with the... Uh, So, are we all here? Oh, great, brilliant. So, we just have a couple of people here. This is five minutes in. Um, I think I'll just wait for like five minutes, then. Um, I think that's a fair shake, and uh, we'll start. Let me open this so we can review. I think we'll start with David. My daddy gives me love for my girl, Christine. Um, hi, Christine. Hi. Hi. Leslie. 
He's still here. Come on, Miss Town. How come you didn't talk to me? I was just thinking, let's drink your water right now. I didn't know I could. I was just trying, trying to make a man. You know what it would have been? I could just see you. You just know that you were there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
resonates with me. Okay, so um, scholar theory, here we go. So there are colors and categories. What is color? So the definition that stood out for me in the research was color is what the eyes see when light is reflected off an object. And I think this makes a whole lot of sense. And I, I asked myself a question anyways. Maybe Leslie will be the one to answer at the end of this session. Because if color is what the eyes see when light is reflected off an object, what happens when there's no light? Um, I'm assuming that we see the color black. I'm assuming. <laughs> No, 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 no. Let, let, me, let me even lay that out for you. So by your definition, mm -hmm. color is what the eyes see when the light is reflected. Black is the absence of light. Black is the absence of light. Yes. Okay. By definition, so, black is the absence of light. Also, um, how colors work is um, light basically carries, you know, basic, light basically carries all the colors of, of, of the visible and the invisible spectrum. Right now, what we call colors, right, is an object as absorbing every single, every other single color, and then give and then reflecting back the one color that it is. So, take for example, now you have a ball, right, and it's a red ball. The reason why we can perceive that ball as red is because light is hitting that ball, and that ball is absorbing every color. You know. Okay. It, 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 light is hitting the ball and, 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 the, and the ball is absorbing every color but red. Okay. So it's the red that is being bounced back to, and that is what we perceive. So it's, and if you look at the thing, what I will do is just, I recommend that you, you go and like read up on the physics of, of light and how light actually works. Um, but that's kind of like the gist of it. Yes. Right, so um, I did read up on the physics of it. We have red beef, um, the seven colors that um, when white light hits a spectrum, or for those of us that went to proper secondary school, you know, this light experiment that you do to prison. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> please, 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 please. Don't insult us that I went to public school. I went to one too, but it was proper. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that light experiment and then mm -hmm. the light um, diverges and gives um, red, orange, the red beef color basically. Um, mm -hmm. I think so whatever color you perceive on the object is what is not reflected. That okay, is what is reflected rather. The rest of the colors are absorbed. Yes. Um, all right. So then categories of colors we have. Um, Primary colors, we have secondary colors, we have university colors, tertiary colors, I mean. It can be university <laughs> colors too. So, <laughs> so what are primary colors? Um, primary colors are basically the colors that cannot be formed by combination of other colors, right? It's said to, see, um, to be the foundation upon which other colors are built. And for primary colors, we have the color red, we have the color blue, and we have the color yellow. Um, for secondary colors, um, secondary colors are basically gotten by mixing the primary colors. So if you look at these primary colors now, um, there are three colors in it. Um, let's focus on the red, blue, and yellow. The secondary colors, let's focus on the red, blue, and yellow also. So we have the red here, we have the blue here, we have the yellow there. Um, I got this image intentionally. Because the secondary colors that you see that's the orange, the green, and the purple. They are formed by the two adjacent primary colors. So the orange, for instance, is formed by the combination of yellow and red. Mm -hmm. And the purple is formed by the combination of red and blue. And the green is formed by the combination of blue and the yellow. Now, that's secondary colors. Same thing with um, tertiary colors. They, they are based off on that principle also. Um, so it's it's basically formed by mixing a primary color and a secondary color. So you can have yellow orange, you can have red orange. I, I know um, the ladies in the house will probably agree to me that there are different kind of 
red oranges. You know? <laughs> I don't think there are even any. Okay, there's probably like one lady in the house or there. I'm not sure. But continue. Okay. Uh, so we have blue green. Um, I had the wedding I had to go for, and I was hearing onion purple. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, and, and it's interesting. It's interesting, yeah, because men perceive colors a lot differently than women do. Yes. You know, women women are able to make such distinct, you know, those those kind of distinctions when it comes to colors. As far as a man is concerned, if it's still, if it's turquoise, it's, it's blue. <laughs> All the blue is blue. There's All no blue. royal. There's, there's no, no royal. There's no sky. There's no navy. All blue are blue. <laughs> it reminds me of a, because I, I, I belong to a music team. I play drums. So okay. they told us to go and get a material. And the person said, um magenta the guy said magenta actually he meant purple <laughs> <laughs> so with the guys we, we saw magenta as purple so we went to go and get purple but the ladies went to go and get actual magenta <laughs> 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 so we went upstairs looking very monochromatic <laughs> continue, so, continue. Yeah. i think anything. it has to do with their physiology or yeah, physiology basically. So yeah, so other categories we have tints, shades, and tones of um particular hue or color. Mm. So a tint is simply when you add white to a particular color to a hue. Mm. So for instance, this is yellow. Um, when you keep on adding white to yellow, you are tinting the yellow. Mm -hmm. Um, so that means our cars, the British of our cars are not actually tinted, they are shaded, but story for another day. Then mm -hmm. tones is basically adding um, ash to a pure color, a yellow color, for, mm -hmm. um, for example, here is, and shade is adding black to the color. Mm -hmm. Then um, straight off to how to combine colors. And we have, this is not what should be here. Yes, this is what should be here. Excellent. So we have um, color combination. We have complementary colors. This is a color wheel, by the way. So yes, we have yes. complementary colors. We have split complementary. We have analogous. We have triadic. We have tetradic. We have square. Then we have the monochromatic, right? So that's where this guy should come in. Monochromatic means just one color. From on the far right is just when you blend a singular color to have different values. So the image here is showing a monochromatic image. Um, it's a single color, but with different tones, different shades, and different things, right? And we have analogous. Um, it's a color scheme that um, refers to three colors adjacent to each other. So in this image, you'd see the yellow, you'd see the orange, you'd see the red. And if you look at the color wheel, the analogous frame, you see that it has from the orange to the red, to just like that. When you pick colors, three colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. And we have triadic, um, a color that consists of three colors. A, sorry, an image that has three colors that are evenly spaced out on the color color wheel. So I didn't do much of triadic, tetradic, and square. They are sort of the same thing. Um, square yeah. is just um, adjacent to each other than opposite. And triadic is when you take evenly across board. And we have complementary colors. These are colors that opposite each other. Red and green, blue and red, orange, yellow and violet. So I think that's the end of my slide. Thanks for the opportunity to present, sir. Okay, so Deji, I'm going to help. I'm going to help you to expand on on some of the things that you actually discussed because I have a feeling that um, it, you it, it wasn't um, captured fully. I think, okay. um, especially when it actually comes to to color com um, combinations and the different types of color combinations. So I'm going to open an old overlay lesson. Just give me one minute, okay? Okay. Should I stop sharing? Uh, yeah, you can stop sharing. All right. One minute. Oh, dear Lord. I don't know why my Figma has. Oh, shit. 
Thank you. Okay. Um, 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 there we go. Okay, uh, he's a teacher at high school, but I need to. Okay, so I'll find it. Let me share my screen so you can see what is happening here. Let's see if I can share my screen. 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 Let's see if I um please if you can see my screen just indicate just let me know i can see your screen thank you beautiful so just give me wait for figma to finish loading But really, did you nice one? I think I think your presentation one, you know, very nicely captured the general idea behind um, colors and color theories. Thank you. I did. I didn't know how detailed I should have gone. So oh, I just you know, look, see, be at liberty to go go as detailed as possible because um, uh, these are very important things. All right. So this is color theory, introduction to colors, and we've covered cover most of these things. Um, colors and what they mean, how to pair colors, variety of life, what are colors, colors speak to, you know, uh, I might as well just run you guys through it. Basically, colors are a phenomenon of light, you know, visual perception that enables one to differentiate be between otherwise identical objects. And you can set a mood, you know, with colors. You can use colors to draw attention or to make statements. Colorful, colors are as powerful as languages. And products that you know deploy them or employ them to leave everlasting impressions. Uh, Jesus Christ, what the hell just happened? Um, okay. Call of um, psychology. Call of psychology is the study of hues as a determinant of human behavior. Colors influences perceptions that are not immediately obvious, such as taste of food, such as um, responses to, 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 to products, for example. Colors have qualities that can cause certain emotions. And I think, I was, I was kind of hope, even hoping that you'd actually touch on this a little bit, but that's fine. So, <laughs> colors, can be widely used as marketing for you know for marketing and branding. Marketing marketers see colors as important because they can be used to influence you know customers' emotions and perceptions about goods and services. And we see that every day. By the time you see a, a um, to, if you see a brand that is putting gold and black, you already know that this is a luxury brand, right? It's the kind of brand that they don't want to stain themselves with bad behavior. It's very clean, very high premium, very expensive. Right. And these are some of the ideas behind colors and the and and, the, and the, the meanings and the emotions that are attached to them. For black, we have luxury. For red, we have youth power, stunning, um, stimulating passion. Right. For yellow, you have warning, happiness, fun, playfulness, enthusiasm, and wisdom. For green, you have nature, environment, growth, balance, and stabilization. For orange, you have haste, impulse, food, action, activity, confidence. For white, you have purity, simplicity, virtue, innocence. You know, just read up on them and you'll be able to see how different colors have different meanings and associations that are attached, you know, different meanings and 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 and, and uh, emotions that are associated to those words. I gave an I was I think in this class I gave like an example, but you know, we don't need to do that. Color theory is the science and art of using colors. Very straightforward. In color theory, there are three categories of color theory that are logical and useful. The color wheel, the color harmony, and color context and usage. This is a color wheel, which this young man has adequately, adequately covered for us. And it consists of primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. However, if you draw a line, a very straight line down the middle, you see that the color wheel is divided into two halves, hot and cold. On the right side, it's cold. On the left side, 
is hot. Okay, so that's that's essentially you know the, the color wheel. So when you recognize that color has a temperature, you can now understand how choosing all warm colors or choose all cool colors can in your logo or in your brand or on your website can impact your messaging. So it's always important for you to pick the right colors for the right occasions. I mean, imagine you are okay. So imagine like you are a banking. Um, uh, Jesus, no, I don't know why I'm defaulting to banking, but imagine if you are um, in the food business and you are using purple, for example. In most food brands, usually, you know, they usually circulate around these colors games. Very rarely would you see a food brand dive around here. Green maybe and green is more for healthy eating but if you want to do like fast food and other types of food it's usually the hot fiery colors now for a bank brand you see that they they circle around the calmer cooler colors kuda is kuda is purple um piggy vests timabt um money points um op um uh pockets all of them just pick this the cooler half of the color wheel so like I, you know like i said it's always important for you to pick the right color or the right occasion so um did you very clearly actually defined hues shades tints and tones a hue is the color in this in its purest form tint is what you throw white at it a shade is when you throw black at it and a tone is when you dash it gray you know, and I think that is what was easily illustrated here. Very straightforward. Now, complementary analogous and tragic. Those are the three that I, that's I highlighted here. But I wanted to explain. I wanted to explain this, especially with analogous and um, tragic. Complementary colors are even straightforward. Let's go to. Let's come here. I think I did some things here. Very good. So this is your color wheel right now this are uh, complementary this is how you pick comp complementary colors no yeah this is how you pick up complementary colors the color that is opposite any color of your choice so a good complementary color in this instance now let's say we have let's say we have this rectangle right Let's say we have this rectangle and then say we wanted to pick wanted to pick purple as our base. So this is purple, right? Awesome. So complementary uh, complementary of purple would be this sharp yellow. So if I put this guy on top, they have it. So you can do any number of things. This is this is a typical complementary configuration. Next stop, you have your triadric. No, 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 sorry, analogous. Now, analogous is very straightforward in a sense. And I will, I'll tell you how analogous actually works, or how I think you can think of analogous in a very interesting manner. Pick any color, then just pick the left and right of it. That's the easiest way to think of analogous. So if you pick, say, uh, in this case now, let me just, sorry, let me just pick, let me make this, um, make this one, give it a good outline, and then just change the color of it. So if you pick, if you pick a color like purple now, all you simply need to do is take the color to the left of it and to the right of it. And that's if you are doing two. I mean, that's if you are doing three colors. So in this scenario, you have, let's... So we have this. And then... One. Two. Somebody's audio is on. 
I think that would be the background behind me. Okay, so let's see if we can let's see if we can make something out of this, right? I mean flip the colors, make this red. Oh dear lord. Purple. Mm -hmm. so, that's essentially how you pick complementary colors and that's if you want to use three if you want to use five just pick the next one and this is your this is your your the color you're picking one, two to the left, one, two to the right. You have five colors to play with. And that's how you that's how you run with complementary colors. Analogous colors. Am I, am I getting this right? No, good. No, no, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. I've been saying rubbish. What we've been working on is the analogous colors. <laughs> My apologies. What we've been working with so far is analogous colors. Now, try the colors, yeah? Is essentially this you just take your color wheel pick a good triangle sorry pick a good triangle and just slap it in the middle and any and the, and the colors that the triangle lands on are your colors that you're going to be picking so if you say you want to pick say like a good blue now for example this light blue just draw your triangle and then these are the colors that you that go with it as long as you are using the triad with configuration so let's say um we want this red we want this orange and we want this blue and you can just change configuration anyhow you want until you know you find something that essentially works So that's that's how I wanted to actually explain it so that you could get it as clearly as possible. Like he actually said, the um, the um, quadratic and uh, all other color um, configurations that you want to use basically follow the same principle: draw a shape and then just pick the, the just draw a shape and then just pick the edges that match with the shape. The same way that you go with triadic. And that's it, essentially. So, any questions? Hello? Yeah, I think I have a question. Yes, go ahead, please. So how then do, because I, I sort of checked out some brands, they don't necessarily follow this um, color combination. They follow more of color psychology. Uh -huh, uh -huh. In terms of picking their um, brand colors, for instance, the black and gold that you mentioned. Yes. There's no black on the color wheel. Mm. How how do they come about um, certain of those combinations? So the, reason, exactly. you, so the reason why, so you will notice that there's also no white on the color wheel. Yes. Yeah, and that's because black black and white are considered to be neutral colors. Neutral colors. Right? Yeah. Now. The, most of, more often than not, brands use black as a base to provide contrast with the with the main color that they're trying to push for, right? Um, so um, there's this club like this that was there was this club that um, nightclub in Abuja. It's called the Bank in Abuja. It was a friend of mine that did their branding. It was just a club. And check, yeah, something like this. So you can tell immediately when you just look at it that your screen this... is not sharing. Oh shoot! Sorry, apologies. Okay, so can you see it now? Yes. Okay, so you can just by looking at this, you can tell immediately. You know, just gold and black. You can tell immediately that like, this looks like a premium 
high class expensive brand why because when you're designing things like brands it's usually good practice to keep your colors to two three if you are feeling frisky but keep your colors to two anything more than three becomes chaos mm. you understand that's why you yeah. see most brands so that's why you see most brands just have two primary colors and so in order for for brands to now incorporate more colors they now have they now they, they, they you know we now came up with this thing called primary colors and secondary colors primary colors are the predominant colors of the brand so take for example um i think kuda has two primary two primary colors or a singular primary color which is essentially purple and white right but they could also have like a variety of other secondary colors that they don't use as frequently they could have yellow they could have orange they could have um they could have um green maybe right but these are colors that you don't see too frequently they just use them sparingly i mean just yeah they use them sparingly and very lightly sometimes as accents we don't see them too frequently in their branding okay so that is how that is why brands so it's not like they are not using the color wheel in these brands it's not like they're not using the color wheel they are simply just picking one color a dominant color that they believe represents them and then just leveraging on of it and building off it i hope that answered your answer your question yeah it does thank you all right so any any further questions before we start reviewing your assignments Nobody wants to ask question again. Okay, so in the absence of any other questions, let us commence with being, you know, reviewing our assignments. I want us to be done. Um, I want us to be done in the next 10, 15 minutes. So we'll be starting with um <laughs> okay, I will submit it, I promise. So we're starting with David, Ebola David. I think I like what he did here. A food brand that is essentially green and orange. I, I, I like I like the color combinations here. It's really, really nice. It's bold, it shouts food. Kind of gives you that healthy eating type of feel. So I, I think I like this. So if I'm going to grade this, I'll probably just grade this a good... Um, um, I'll give, it, I'll give it a seven. Okay, oh, sorry. I'll give it a seven over ten. But it seems he didn't do the other half of the assignment. <laughs> he didn't do the other half of the assignment. So I'm going to give I it... I wrote in the comments, Leslie. Where? I think in the same page. I... Not this, not on this side. Let's see, Sha. Hold on. I'll go through the cards one by one. Uh, who owns this? Nelson. This was... Nelson, you didn't do the assignment. You didn't finish the assignment. You just did one half of it. Let me open the assignment for you so you can actually see. Yes. So this is the notion, right? Let's open that. Design foundations, color theory. And these are the resources. Pick any five brands, identify their brand colors and what emotion the brand is trying to project. One. Two, pick any three colors and create a visual identity pack out of it. It should contain one, logo, two, social media, and, and three, billboard, poster. So this was the part you didn't do. Yes, sir. All right, so let's take a look at what you, what you currently have on ground. Um, you picked McDonald's, red, yellow, passion, joy, good. Um, Samsung blue, white, loyalty, cleanliness, and minimalism. And that's actually true. Um, Samsung is not really a chaotic brand. MTN is a brand that I have no love for. <laughs> Selling me the transition to this nonsense they call the Alubo, but you know, whatever, whatever it is that makes them happy at night. Um, this is fine. Reddington, red, passion, love, power, elegance. Good. Um, Health, life, blue, loyalty, and confidence. I mm, confidence, yes. Loyalty, mm, okay, yes. 
Hmm. All right, this is fine then. This is fine. All right, so I'm. So I think I'll just give you a four. Uh, let's thank see. you, sir. No, don't, like, don't thank me then, because <laughs> the copies are big. All right, hold on, please. Let's see. Closing is coming in when the class is about to finish. All right, so let's see. Um, first class, this is by Aramide Adebayo. Uh, what do we have here? This is Master, okay, Master Nike. Is Nike, Nike is not ready. My guy, where did you see Nike red? <laughs> black. Black. Um, uh, black is black and white sometimes. Black sometimes, white sometimes. Black sometimes. Abana is strictly black. The only time you see white is when they are on a dark background. But Nike is mm. strictly black. Ha! Oh, you never, you never Nike with this. <laughs> Nani can be this one, <laughs> Oluwa, ha, now Okay, so Google means passion, excitement, or, or, or urgency. Okay, that's red. It's trust and security. Yellow for cheerful and optimistic. And these are the three primary colors for Google. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mastercard is uh, pure yellow stands for joy, intellect, optimism. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. Um, glue means harmony, trust, assurance, hope. While the white means unity and charm. Man, all these things that you just counted for glue are the things that glue does not do. <laughs> right, best is confidence, loyalty, freedom, wisdom, and stability, especially the stability part. People are finicky with money, so they don't want to brand that that that's really shake every time all right so this is fly express uh -huh. okay so this is this is what i'm looking for uh-huh uh-huh okay that's fine uh, billboard social media i was actually hoping to see i was hoping to see what the, you know what the colors actually mean for the brand I don't even know what the brand is called. I kind of assume that this is a logistics brand. Get away plans, okay. So is it the travel is it travel brand? Uh, travel brand really use reg. Ha. Huh. Maybe have you ever heard of a travel brand that uses red? Travel and tourism, like Wakana. Red is a strange color for this thing you picked though. Let's I'll give you a five. Well red red for traveling man, I'm I'm not sure that's the best that's the best color to actually pick. So let's see, who is this? Blake computers. All right, Rod, Rod Construction, very strong name. Like Rodrigo. Okay nice 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 two colors i wish this this orange was a little sharper so it, it bounces up but i like it it's fine uh-huh uh-huh this is fine actually i like what i'm seeing and it's fine i'll give it six though um true yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. all right fine i'll give it a six No, nah, good. Do it seven. All right. So who's next? This is. Social media ad. Oh, this looks interesting. Inbox. Wow. This is nice. Let's look at this first. Yes. Happiness, yes, yes, yes. Hot, 
recharge passion, especially recharge. Um, natural recharge, Niger feel, true. Um, organic, natural, chocolatey, also true. Um, green is, green gold is luxury. Luxury. Milo is not really, Milo is not really a luxury brand. I think the gold means something else, but it's not, it's definitely not luxury though. Uh, the green, you know, obviously that's clear. Luxury, royalty, five brands and yellow. Yes, this is actually consistent with its um, FCMB's brand. So let's come to this. Game box looks good. Um, but what are the emotions? As in, like, okay, so powering your work. This is good visually. Mm -hmm. right. This is good. Not your problem. So I'll just I'll give this a good. I'll give it a good eight. All right. So Farm Pro, yo. Okay. The person who 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 wants to do red Nike, see your meteor is black. Um, boldness and mystery, good. Purple, nobility, and wealth used to de to denote premium products. Brand that allows to show. Pre okay, okay, okay. Fanta, orange, fun, adventure, especially. I like that. Nickelodeon is a brand known for its value on entertainment. It promotes fun while having Nickel Drink, Land Rover, Going Green by Ford is famous in technology used in business circles, which mm -hmm, mm -hmm, conserve energy and reduce pollution. Yeah. Okay, good. So let's come back to this one now. <laughs> Farm Pro. Um, hmm. It's a good idea, but this logo is this logo is going to give you problems, especially for the type of style that you're going for. Oh my God! You actually use papyrus. <laughs> you use papyrus. Yo, <laughs> God. Okay, I'll give this a seven, man. I'll give this a seven. Not because I liked it, to be honest. Uh, no, I'm giving it seven for the effort because they actually use good colors. Okay. The goal of the assignment is not based on good designs, it's to come this combining colors essentially. All right, so let's see. Tosi, Oyeguki, what do we have here? Brands, Jitsuko, yes. Trustability, yes. Fresh, hmm? yes. Mono, elegance, yes. Fair money, green, black, good. Good. Let's see. <laughs> okay, let's, let's quickly wrap, wrap this up. Um, oh, shit. You did only the one. Uh, there we go. I shall grade D a three over time. All right, so let's see. Ooh, fancy. Prada. Wait, so let me check. Five brands. I did see five Nigerian brands. That's good. Or I'll be Prada. Oh, nice. I like how you arranged this. So this is um, bold, classic, elegant, good, strong, dependable, secure. Mm. Freshness, growth, health, good. Um, Nickelodeon, playful, cheerful, friendly, confident, good. Boldness, excitement, love. I love this. Uh, so let's see. What do you have here? Ox. Experience the little around the world. 
and you want to go and be experiencing the latest GCC IV. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, so okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Okay, huh. I like what I'm seeing, Sha, no doubt. But where did this color come from? In this red. Because you didn't you don't use it anywhere else. Okay, so I will be giving Timmy Pixel a good eight. I like what I like. I like what I actually saw. Kitchen. When I saw kitchen, I I, I instantly liked it. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. This is not Medium's logo anymore, but they still maintain the same black color though. So that's fine. Red, white, yes, yes, good. So let's go back. Kitchen, I love this logo. I feel good. it could have been more, but I, I generally like, I like the form of it. Where the world would you rather eat? Ah, more. I thank God that our next, our next study is actually typography because this is not it, man. <laughs> this is not it. I'll give you a seven. Okay, so Steve, Stephen, is it Steven? Let's see what we have here. Oh, God. Mm, okay. Colorful. It is colorful, actually. Like, I had to look at it very well to actually understand. I think what threw me off was this the way you rendered this typography. I think it could have been better. Not necessarily changing the style but you could actually do there are things you could actually do that would actually make it look a lot more serious and a lot more you know that give it more life and more pizzazz but this approach is not it and especially even the typeface that you use it just didn't make it actually serious or look cool but this this is interesting but you, as you can see here on this band of on this year billboard you're already running into problems number one contrast because i can see make i can see pop i can't see it do you, do you understand so you already have <laughs> copy don't finish no vex come on make it pop you could have done better than this you could have actually done more with this color makes the world make sense i like this but again your choice of typography is 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 what's just turning is is what's is is the turn off. Yeah, I already checked this out earlier, so I think it's fine. I'll give you a seven, mostly because I like the idea, the idea behind it seems rich. I think what where you draw where you fell short, no, seven is. Uh, I'll give you a six. Reason for that for this six is because. You didn't consider contrast when you were designing your logo. Yeah. All right, so let's see who's next. Um, color theory. Come on, person go drop Figma link for me, Sha. <laughs> oh, but I'm not sure I had the power to open that. Upscale now, Simba. Nice. Good blue, there's no, okay, open your new tab, let's see this. Oh boy, it's a Figma. Mm. All right, so let's see, video identity pack, symbol, icon, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. social media, okay. 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 Yes. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is this falls within the the jurisdiction of monochrom um, monochromatic. Falls well within the jurisdiction of mon um, monochromatic. So that's that's really good. Um, I'll, I'll throw this. 
Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, good. Let's start with Patrick. Seems very straightforward. This. Nice. 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 Hmm. Where did this come from? Well, you kind of give us three colors to use. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. But I'm, I'm already sold on the green. Dude, I mean, good on my team. Pathetic, vibrant, youthful, modern, confident, corporate. Corporate. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. Yo 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 this is over no 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 look 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 this this is take your turn and shine man your turn and shine just go take your turn and shine Jesus Christ man that is that is that's how to go over on a board. Well done. That's fantastic. On time always. Nikita. This is whose assignment is this? David. Okay. okay. Uh-huh. Um oh, this person, you know, complete you didn't finish the full thing though. No? So I'll just give you five. No, nice. Right. Um, and then this, let's see. Mm -hmm. Growth, reliable, stable, strong future, wealth, etc. Glovo. Is it Glovo or Glovo? I hate this. Glovo, okay. Excitement, full of life, England's fun, dependable, reliable, inclusion. I, to be honest, I didn't really like the brand, the way they mix their colors. But they see this spark here, they are, they are the real devils. I don't know what they want. It seems like. Sparkle left an impression. Like, I can never, I cannot forget Sparkle after seeing it. Uh, okay. The first time I saw Sparkle, I think um one of the uh, UI designers actually reached out to me because he was he was experiencing some some he, he was trying to figure out some things and I was just like giving support and trying to help and all that stuff. And then I saw the logo and I was like, Oh god, is this is what you're working with. He was like, Yeah, it's a gradient god, and it's it's a <laughs> Right. Too many colors are just happening. I'm like, God, come on. It's gonna be done smarter. <sighs> but it is what it is, yeah. Um okay, so I'm gonna give like a mini assignment, yes, like a side quest type of thing. I want to see how and I want you guys to like pay attention. Yeah, I want you to see how you guys are going to recolor the sparkle logo. No gradients, just recolor it. You can use one color, you can use two colors, you can do anything, but you're not changing the logo, or at least the form of the logo. Just do something interesting with it. Let's see how, how you come up with that. Um, so let's see, what's the next show? Life is yeah, I never really, when, like when I saw this, I really didn't understand this. So, what was happening here? 
Like I know this is the logo, yeah, and I know these are the colors, yeah, but it just didn't feel cohesive. I think it boiled down to the pre to, you know, I didn't understand what, what this what was going on here to be honest. Ah, well, I guess I'll just build this a great then. All right. I think this is the last one. Uh, this one no finish assignment. <laughs> no finish assignment. Okay, so I think I've graded everyone's assignment. Now, please do bear in mind that um, me grading you is not is not my opinion of you. I'm just I'm not grading you. I'm grading the assignment itself, and I'm trying to tell you that you can do better. So you need to dig deep, not to put Patrick. In the spotlight but you have to see the level of detail that he actually puts into presenting his assignment and yeah and you know him going over and beyond the normal expectation this is the ex this is my expectation of you to be honest this this should be the standard this should be the norm when it comes to presenting or when it comes to doing anything that you want to do and that is what I want every one of us to actually strive for and even go beyond, you know, as we get better as creatives. Thank you guys so much. It's seven o'clock. Um, Jesus, what time is it on your end? It's eight o'clock, right? Yes, it's okay. Yeah. Let, me, let me let you guys go. Thank you guys for coming for this session. Um, I think the next, the next, uh, the, what we'll be studying this week will be typography, I believe. Let me check. Yes, so we'll be studying typography. I haven't had a task attached to it. I'll put a task tomorrow. Um, I'll also be, I'll also assign someone who will be, be presenting on typography tomorrow as well. So thank you guys. I hope you have a lovely week ahead and um, good night. Good night, Leslie. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, boss. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone.